Hello there, my undying fans. I thought I'll take this opportunity to go ahead and look at my channel's performance and do a thorough investigation of my analytics and my channel performance. And the reason I thought it would be a good opportunity was because I'm set to reach a hundred thousand views in the next month so i believe that by the new year um there's pretty much a hundred percent chance that i'll get to a hundred thousand views so i wanted to go ahead and look at my analytics and as you can see in the last month I've been averaging about anywhere between five to ten hours of uh, watch time per day and about a hundred views per day so it's 28 days so 3,000 about 115 views per day And an average of four minutes watch time okay now the part that I'm really interested in looking at is actually the um, traffic sources and also I can see that in my new videos the live coaching call the interview the foggy brain it appears that the the ones that have performed the best are actually the longer ones which is very interesting like the more watch time I can see it's kind of correlated with views perhaps let's see so this is 15 minutes 18 minutes this one's three minutes, but it's actually really interesting. So makes sense. It has more views. Yeah, it, it appears that I'm actually getting better performance from the longer ones. So that means I should make more videos that are, you know, about 15 to 25 minutes long especially an hour long, but I, I can't talk that much. I have to be talking with someone else to talk that long. And yeah, yeah, it, it really appears that the, the longer videos are reaching better performance than the shorter ones. Cool, cool. Okay. Up next traffic sources so I'm actually going to look at not just the last 28 days I'm going to look at the last I would say about a year and obviously as you can see I'm about 90% men <laughs> in terms of the gender and 42% from United States, almost 50%, which is exactly what I want. Okay, let's see. Um, so over the last 365 days, I think I want more than that. I think I want from July 2016 up to today. So if we look at the views, by the way, the huge bump here, I think it's the day, it's when I uploaded a new, it's when I uploaded the video with, um, I edited like a, a part of a song for, from uh, the Logan movie. And I got like a ton of views before I got demonetized. Let's see. So if we cut that part, 
because I don't want to <laughs> include that in my uh, checkings. So, and we'll put it in a pie shape. I think a pie shape would be better. We can see that 30% of my videos came through browse. 30% through suggested, suggested. Search is only 8%, so not exactly the best. Let's see what happens if we take this. 37% suggested, 22% browse. Browse means the home page. Suggested means on the sidebar. So we take these videos. Which ones were on the browse? So I can see in a home, 60% came from the home. So 5,000 views from the main part in the, again, United Kingdom. Live on demand. Let's see if I can see which videos though. No, oh, that sucks. I can't see. I can't see which uh, which videos are actually pull. You know, being pulled up on the browse. And again, in here, if we look at traffic sources, it's actually suggested. So suggested and browse both reach almost between five to six minutes of average view duration, which is fantastic. And in the past, they would get about four minutes each. and about 30 to 38% watch on average. Now it's about 30%, makes sense. So videos are longer, a bit more watch time, still not exactly the whole video. Hmm, but what gets them there? <laughs> so the browse. Okay, external not so much. Suggested is really cool. So you can see in suggested, the videos that got suggested the most are Dan Pena, Dan Pena, Dan Pena, Dan Pena. This one's mine. This is also sort of Dan Pena, Dan Pena, Dan Pena, Dan Pena. Dan Pena, lots of Dan Pena. Let's see demographics. So 62% between 18 to 44. Audience retention. Let's see if it changed over the year. No, not really. It goes up and down, but mostly goes around the three to five minutes, four and a half minutes, I would say. Now, which videos were the, the most popular? This is interesting. In the last 60, okay. So the unidentified video 
is the Logan one it got removed then Penny a castle video this one got 6,000 views so why did this video get 6,000 views because it was suggested and in the browse why was it suggested through Dampania well that's a pretty <laughs> boring summary so I'm guessing that most of my content, most of my video, my uh, views actually came from the the whole Den Pena thing, and I guess the there's two takeaways, two major takeaways from viewing this, the analytics. I'm also going through a really good YouTube course at the moment, so I'll probably have a lot more to say. But I can sum it up like this, from just from what I'm seeing, from just statistics. It looks like what contributed the most to the growth of this channel was, first of all, longer videos. So videos around 20 minutes. And second thing is associations. So videos where it's people who, um, you know, other people know. <laughs> so mostly Dan Pena. Uh, Ty Lopez, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Instagram, Dampenia, 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 Gary V, Donald Trump, Grant Cardone. Okay, cool, cool. So I think I pretty much summed up this, um, this quick analytics check. Thank you for joining me and watching, and I'll see you very soon. So. Talk soon.